As a matter of fact, is if you see the, as very rightly said that there are so many things in our ancient knowledge which we never explored them properly. As a matter of fact, if you see, most of you know that, especially my young friends, you see that there are uh, Susrut, he was a surgeon, you see, he born in Varanasi, in this city, and practiced surgery over here 2,500 years back. And he was known a father of surgeon, surgery because he did many surgical practices, developed surgical instruments, and many of them are practiced in the same form today, even today. And he is one of the major contributions. He developed plastic surgery and to reconstruct the damaged nose, you see, he reconstructed. And to our surprise, he developed more than 100 sharp instruments, you see. And if you, if you realize the sharpness of this instrument, the sharpness of these instruments were razor sharp, means you can shave this hair also, they are so sharp, you can make them so sharp. As a matter of fact that if you look the metallurgical viewpoint, you cannot make a razor sharp instrument without a good quality of steel. So they knew the 2500 years before the quality of steel that should be so sharp, you cannot make a sharp instrument by cast iron or other low quality of iron, you see. So you need a steel, you see, good quality of steel, then only you can split the skin. So for a plastic surgery, what we need to split the skin. So splitting of his skin is only possible with a very sharp, razor sharp instrument. So that is one of the thing that they are, they are technology. It was Susrut came to know this technology because there are people they used to extract good quality iron, then they could prepare a good quality of surgical instrument, then only a surgeon could operate upon a patient. You see. So therefore, not only that, you see, he developed surgical instrument to that extent that one can take out the foreign body deep into the throat, deep from the throat inside, you see. So they are so pinpointed. He developed surgical instrument we have heard biopsy today that we take out a tissue from inside the body. He developed surgical instrument through, by which he used to take out the biopsies from deeper part of the tissue to understand whether there is a swelling which is separated or non-separated. So different kind of a surgical instrument he developed and these instruments, many of these instruments are used in the same form with some change of name by the modern instrument, uh, modern surgeons. He developed, there are instruments to look inside the body cavity, you see, that just like what we see today as an endoscope, you see. So there are, these endoscopes are, of course, they are relatively primitive in nature, but the philosophy and practices are very rightly like this, you see. Like what he Susru developed instrument through which you could see inside the body cavity, you could operate inside and you could take out a biopsy from inside the body cavity. So these are the extreme things you see what they have developed 2500 years before and now still we are practicing the same things, of course a bit of a different modalities and different modification. But the philosophy, but the principles and the way of working was almost same what he designed on those days.